Hello and welcome to Parents Guide. In the previous video, we saw addition with 0, addition with 1, doubles in addition, and addition combinations of 10. In this addition table, we covered the portions shaded in blue in the last video. In this video, we will see how to teach the portions shaded in yellow. Since we covered steps 1 to 4 in the last video, we will start from step 5. In step 5, we will see how to teach adding 2 to a number. The equations in black are what we saw in the previous video. Now we will see how to teach the equations in red. When we have to teach adding 2 to a number, for example, 3 plus 2, we have to start with what the children already know. That is, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, and a child will be able to say 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. The child might be able to do this faster because the child already knows 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 from the doubles in addition and might be able to say 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Similarly, we can teach 6 plus 2, 7 plus 2, 8 plus 2 and so on. When we teach 6 plus 2, again we have to start with 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 and your child might be able to say 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. We have to make sure that we do not change the sequence. When we add 2 to a number, the number should come first and 2 should come after that. Initially we should not change the sequence as it might confuse the child. In step 6, we will see how we teach adding 3 to a number. The equations in black are what we saw in the previous video. In this video, we will see how to teach the equations in red. Then we have to teach adding 3 to a number, for example 4 plus 3. Again, we have to start from what they know already, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, and 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. You have to make sure your child repeats all these in a sequence so that your child can recollect what was learned previously. The child might be able to do this faster because he or she has already learned 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 in doubles in addition and might be able to say 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. When we add 3 to 8, that is 8 plus 3, we have to start with 8 plus 0 is equal to 8, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, and your child might be able to say 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Again, your child might be able to do this faster because your child has already learned 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 in addition combinations of 10 and might be able to say 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 straight away. Once a child is familiar with adding 2 and 3 to a number, you can teach different combinations. Flashcards can be very helpful in doing this. You can make flashcards at home by cutting a piece of paper or cutting a piece of cardboard. You can write 7 plus 2 on the front and 2 plus 7 on the back and ask your child to answer. By doing this, your child will become very familiar with all the different combinations. Once a child is familiar with the different combinations, you can give the worksheets for more practice. The worksheets can be downloaded from the link on the description box. Worksheets are available for both adding 2 and adding 3. In this video, we have seen how to teach the portions shaded in yellow. In the next video, we will see how to teach the remaining portions in easy steps. The worksheets are available for download from the link on the description box. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.